Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the circulation pump and motor on your dishwasher, you will need to fully uninstall the appliance. Before you do this, we recommend removing the pump cover and diffuser at the bottom of the tub to ensure the diverter motor can be properly reseated during reassembly. Rotate the lower wash arm locking nut counterclockwise to release the arm. Detach the manifold inlet tube from the pump cover. Now lift the manifold up and pull it forward to remove. Pull the upper dish rack out and depress the retaining tabs to fully remove the rack from the rails. Next, pull out the upper tray and flip open the stop clips to fully remove the tray. Release the water supply tube from the retainers on the top and rear of the tub. Detach the tube from the pump cover to fully remove. Lift up the tab and rotate the pump cover counterclockwise to detach. Lift off the diffuser. Next, turn off the power to the appliance. And shut off the water supply valve. Using a flathead screwdriver, Rotate the lower access panel fasteners counterclockwise a quarter turn to detach. Remove the access panel and the attached insulation. Use channel lock pliers to unthread the water supply line elbow fitting from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Next, use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw to release the terminal box from the right support rail. Detach the cover. Note the orientation of the power wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Unthread the screw to release the grounding wire. Unthread the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief and power wires from the terminal box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. Now gently pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Tip the dishwasher back and rest it on a towel or blanket. Note the location of the two diverter motor wire connectors, then disconnect them. Now use a T15 Torx bit to unthread the mounting screws, securing the diverter motor assembly. 
depress the retaining clip and you can fully detach the motor assembly. Next, use a 5 16th inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screws securing the sump damper. Disconnect the circulation pump motor wire connector. Now use pliers to break loose the pinch clamp, securing the outlet hose to the sump. Pull the circulation pump and motor out and down to detach it from the sump. Use a flathead screwdriver to help pry the inlet grommet free of the sump and release the wire from the retainer to fully remove the old assembly. Before you install the new circulation pump and motor, confirm that the isolator is in place in the sump and transfer the grommet from the old pump housing to the new one. Now insert the pump hanger into the isolator as you insert the grommet into the sump port. Attach the new hose to the sump and pinch the clamp to secure. Secure the wire behind the retainer and connect the wire to the new pump motor. Reposition the sump damper and secure it with the screws. Now reinsert the diverter motor actuator shaft into the sump as you realign the assembly. Rethread the mounting screws to secure. Reconnect the wire connectors to the appropriate terminals. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or garbage disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wires and strain relief in the terminal box, then thread and tighten the strain relief nut. Secure the grounding wire with the screw. Join the black wires together and the white wires together and secure them with the wire nuts. With the wires positioned inside the terminal box, realign the cover. Now reattach the box to the support rail and thread the screw to secure.
Reconnect the water supply line elbow fitting to the inlet valve. Reposition the access panel, making sure the attached insulation does not interfere with the float assembly and the lower edge of the panel touches the floor. Secure the panel by rotating the fasteners clockwise a quarter turn. Now realign the diffuser on the diverter motor actuator shaft. Reinstall the pump cover by aligning it in the sump and rotating it clockwise to lock it into place. Insert the water supply tube into the pump cover. Confirm that the support bracket is in place at the top of the supply tube, then snap the supply tube into the retainers on the rear and top of the tub. Realign the upper tray on the rails and flip the stop clips closed. Position the upper dish rack on the support rails and snap it into place. Realign the lower manifold on the water supply tube and push down to lock it into place. Insert the inlet tube into the pump cover. Realign the wash arm on the support then rotate the locking nut clockwise to secure. Replace the lower dish rack. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.